Hi, my name is Saneli Siweneli Nkonyani from Eswatini. I am a second born female child in a family of six. I'm a married woman as well as a mother to two teenage boys. I would describe my work as a channel to examine complex paradoxes of the Nguni custom, Kushlonipa, through concepts of embodiment, self-representation, and cultural disobedience, which I use as strategies to interrogate the patriarchal views of women within the custom, Kushlonipa. I use my personal perspective and understanding of cultural and traditional norms which I have been exposed to through my cultural upbringing. The custom of Kushlonipa incorporates notions of respect and respectability to the extent to how a woman should present herself in both private and public spaces. Through the use of handmade paper, I explore the fragility in terms of its contrast with the more substantial and imposing corporal presence of the absent and yet present body in my sculptural work. I also explore through photography my gender ambiguous body in order to question and interrogate um, and subvert culturally acceptable representations of the female body. My questioning and representation of femininity and perhaps is perhaps based on my unique relationship with my father, who acknowledged my role in the family is neither son nor a daughter. And this complex underlying of gender and traditional society customs has led me to explore black feminism and black feminism and discourses of womanism as pathways to unpack my experiences and conflict with Kushlonipa. My work is inspired firstly by my relationship with my father and my birth position as a second born female child to the heir of a family that needed to have a son. I have used the relationship between my father, my grandfather and myself as a source for exploring my identity in my art practice and I negotiate my self-worth within my family. And secondly, the notions of respect and respectability taught and instilled in children from the time they are born, which are taught within the custom Kushlonipa. The one area of Kushlonipa that my work focuses on is that culturally, the married woman's body does not belong to her, but instead to her husband. I then interrogate this customary practice as an act of cultural disobedience. By making a conscious decision to take ownership of my body and explore how it is viewed outside the approved cultural context, it is my contention that Kushlonipa limits a woman's ownership of her body. This prevents her from expressing herself bodily. It is for this reason I have chosen to use my own body in my work and rather than using other women. Through self-representation, I am of, offered control of how I portray my body as I shape and mold materials over it. This shift of power and ownership created by Kushlonipa, allowing me to further take ownership of how my body is viewed with the photography work that I make, by returning the African patriarchal gaze. My favorite work so far has to be this parent work titled Londo Lozanjal. This work has been a fascinating journey for me as it not only gave me a way to take ownership of my body through my art making, but it also allowed me to explore the art of bodybuilding, which allowed me to explore a gender ambiguous identity which as a child I've always kind of played into this person or being who is neither male or female and um, as I was making this work there's a song a traditional marriage song that constantly played at the back of my mind or I would um, always 
kind of fall back to thinking about this particular song. It's titled Emaka Mekjelo Bobab. So this made me wonder the significance of this song as I was making this body of work. So I then studied the lyrics to get a, an idea of what is it in the lyrics that kind of played at the back of my mind. Um, as I'd made the study, the ideas of the songs and the lyrics and my work kind of tied in together. Sings the song, which acknowledges her father as her custodian and announces publicly that her father is her guardian, which relates to the way I have this interesting complex relationship with my father. My work is influenced by black female artists and for this particular work I'm influenced by Zanel Mpoli and Nandi Pamdambo who are both active participants in representations of Nguni women within the contemporary sphere. These artists have used their art to communicate ideas around gender imbalances within society. Their works further question certain social norms and values in order for women's voices to be heard. Through the use of representation and self-representation, both Muholi and Mdambo, through performing gender identity, create awareness and dialogue to protest against inequality while highlighting discrepancies within society. I also read both Mnholi and Mdambo's work as critically confronting the relationship or tension between the African patriarchal ideas of representation and enactment of a woman's individuality as the age, the age and subject. The play of binaries of the absent yet present body in my work is comparable to Mdambo's work as I examine public and private expressions of the body as employed by Mdambo and Mholi to draw conclusions on how these artists' works may be read as challenging notions 